Erastus with that report there. Now, residents living on island communities in the Afram Plain say they feel left behind by government interventions to cushion people during the COVID-19 season. Majority of these communities do not have electricity or water, and their farming and fishing livelihoods have taken a hit because of restrictions on movement. Justice Beidou visited Hili Haji, one of the communities, to find out how life in a community without power in these times look like. As night falls in Hlehaji village, Joyce Agbenyega makes dinner as her daughter, who is home because of COVID-19 school closures, goes over her books. Fuel for both is from pricey kerosene. Aside the firewood that goes into this, it leaves them with health costs too. Night fire powered by kerosene produces pollution as bad as smoking 40 pieces of cigarette. The community, like many parts of Ghana, has sunshine in abundance and have a huge potential for solar power. But the cost of acquiring them leaves them without a choice. As we can see here, the city or the town, they have electricity, so they watch films, they use internet for learning. But why, uh, because of there is no light here, we don't have any uh, this thing, education. Communities like Lehaji already have no infrastructure at all. Many of the people here have had their livelihoods badly hit by travel restrictions. And now, though they do not have any case of the virus yet, its impact is felt here like everywhere else. In our area here, if we apply for a teacher to come and teach here, they refuse to come because of electricity. You see, uh, social distance. But, no. okay. uh, but you could see many people come together here to charge their phone. So it's not fine. Kalehaji is not alone. Hundreds of other communities in the country still live without something as basic as electricity. Justice Beidou, Joy News, Kalehaji in the Afram Plains.